Greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back. We're at the elevator. That's just where you go after Flagara's boss room. There's this is just one large ugly space that we have to go through and collect all the things again. So we're just gonna take it one step at a time. Essentially, I might have to edit stuff out and whatnot to get all the like all the stuff done. That's good. We can pick up some scan stuff. Which I think I've got all of that stuff at the very least, which is good news. I do need you. Chose a lore indeed. There's a couple things of lores, I can tell you what. Nope. I mean that one destroyed. Alright. So there's cordite platings here and then one more over here as well. And then we gotta scan and look for all the things. This is the tricky part. Luckily the two cordites are here. And then if you look, these two are actually opposite of each other. Kind of it's like a little mirror effect going on there. You can easily do all that. Now, I do need to scan these guys. They're a little tricky. I believe there's another location we can scan those. That's hard to remember exactly. Nope. These guys are pretty much invincible, let's be real here. And then these blocks were on. They're bomb blocks. Uh, nope. I tried to risk it. Tried to risk it. It's alright, though. Luckily, the, the blocks respawn. This is all just about timing. Luckily, you can be on the outsides here. It's this one that's the tricky one. There we go. Get it just fine. And there's a ghost, because of course there is. Like, why wouldn't there be? Should always be a ghost around. This is the Chozo Ruins. Here you go. I don't even consider it a boss room unless it's got a ghost in it. Wouldn't even dream of it. Getting caught on the ceiling, because of course I am. Luckily, this is not as difficult as you think it would be. And there's the ghost, so you can't actually see them moving about as they're essentially spawning in at first, but I know where they're going to be. They're always right where they should be, all the time. Alright, there's one. Woo! Where'd you go? Hi there! I'm gonna just use a super missile since you're charging up for an attack. It makes sense. Alright, now I gotta go find... Yes, hi there. Don't move. Thank you. Don't do that. Just like that. Not the button I meant to push. It's been a while. It's been a while. But we had to do that for this artifact. It's highly important. Highly important. So you can get up on these leaves here. And then... the day. We got it! We're so cool! Okay, now... Yes, yes, I know, I know! No, I know, the 4th of 12, yes! Yes, yes, no! Not what I meant. Just wanted to look through. Do I need to go... It would be nice to go that way, let's be real. Because that's where we want to go. So normally... Uh, if you try to go through the other way, there's vines that block the door from being opened, like through this normal door, where you first go through. So that's why we went the way we went, which requires super missiles. And that's why they're needed, basically. I'm pretty certain that's actually the only requirement. I could be wrong. There could be another one that I don't know of, or just can't remember. I'm used to playing randomizers, so I know where super missiles are required, I just don't necessarily always remember. That that's where an artifact normally is. All right, just checking. We want the other door actually, cause we're going this way. No, no, stop it. That did we do? Excellent work. Oh, what am I stuck on? That's that was unique. All right, we're gonna go over here, cause we got some items to pick up. We got a couple things. Couldn't get this beforehand. It's very important. Actually, quite a number of things, I think. So the water here is clear. 
There is a secret little ramp one can get to. I probably should have grabbed this afterwards, but eh, I'll show it off now. Like, it just holds a little missile, but we're pretty close now. We're at 200 of the 250, so we're getting somewhere. Almost got all the missiles. That would be tragic. It's like, if you've ever seen me play Randomizer before, you know the one thing I don't want to see are the missiles, but so often that it's a missile because it's just half the upgrades. All right. Just start shooting my way downtown. Walking fast. Missiles pass and I'm homebound. All right, gonna need that. And then we're gonna turn around, go up here. You don't actually need the space jump boots. One little double jump to get those, to get up that platform. You actually can just, in essence, regular jump up to it. It can be a little bit more difficult. Like, like if you try to jump off, off of there, you may not always clip your way past the edge, but it's doable. That's a doable thing. A little handy note for if you're playing randomizer and you can get to that point. You can just jump your way up there. Of course, if you have the... You still need the spider ball, but... A tiny little details. Okay, so I'm gonna walk my way back, basically back, oh gosh, I have a long ways to go. We're gonna go back to the furnace. I'm gonna walk all the way there. All right, so we're going to the furnace. We're going topside, because that's what we do best. We go topside all the time. There we go. All right, now there's gonna be some ghosts here. We're actually going to take care of them. I think it's actually just the one, actually. But it's good because when you pull out the air supervisor, you can clearly see there's something down there. Hey, I can hear. Yes, hi there. Oh no. Well, I'm glad because that was straight up blind aiming with that one. Just free aiming of my own free will. All right, that's good because now that puts. The room back. We've already scanned those. That's excellent. We need to power bomb that section. Excellent work. So this is the really fun part. Like we don't get enough of morph ball madness here and tricky platforming with said uh, morph balls. So we've got another section. Yes. Luckily you can take these guys out with bombs, but there's only so much work you can do. Cause you'd have to wait for the others. Okay, now this is important. You can see your little shadow here. Now, you can use a power bomb to help destroy these guys. But I like my power bombs. They're very nice. This guy's a little fast. That's purely in case we fall off. Cause let me tell you, that can happen. Okay, again, you can see the shadow. So you want it actually off just a bit. Oh, Nelly. I hate this part. There we go. So then you navigate all the way over here where you can't see your shadow. So right about here, I believe. Like, you can see there's, like, it, this pipe curves around, right? So you want to be as close to the edge as possible. Let it free fall, and you will roll a bit. And then you got to get past this ugly little dude. Okay, just time it out going for it there you go jump your way up there you can use a bomb jump if you're a little scared about using the the spring ball mechanism and that's all for a missile by the way all for a missile it's not even fair it's not even wait I better check the map uh, we do actually want to be that way do want to be that way nah eh, it's fine there's gonna be ghosts that spawn but I should be able to leave if all goes well. If all goes according to plan. Right, okay, so I went to a room where I already had the... Uh, whatchamacallit, so I already got the power up, so it was useless. Not even something for me to scan. So now I gotta deal with these ghosts, because why not? Okay, now that was just rude. Now I lost which one of you is the culprit. Luckily, I can be sell this can be solved by just using charge me first instead of using a super missile. Like, it'll kill it with a super missile. Alright, so it's the last guy. 
But I don't want to waste any more missiles. I only have 184 left. What if I run out? Well, that'll be tragic. Okay. Now this, I don't remember if I've done the other beams or whatnot. So we're gonna double check. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Rolly, rolly, rolly. Show to me your secrets. And then if we jump backwards, yes, hole in one, baby. That's pretty tricky to get to because it's like little, those little like pillars on his chair, little poles uh, there. Oh, excuse me. They can block your, I just want that. There you go. They can block your movement completely. So you have to hop over it, but then you got to get back to... Uh, you have to move forward again to try to land on the hand or, you know, just don't jump backward as far. Very tricky to do without eyesight eye on the thing. Well worth it if you do, though. Alright, so I can see jumping's not my strong suit. Come here. I require your services. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. How am I doing on time? It's actually already been a while. I will tell you something. My wrist feels a little sore. Not quite sure why. I actually just haven't, like, I haven't actually done, like, like, Wii hardcore gaming at all recently. Or even just hardcore gaming, I would say, in general. It's been a rather, rather quiet week, week for me in the, in the realm of gaming, so. It's just a little unusual. All right, what am I down to? One last artifact as a necessary to acquire. Excellent. I believe I know where it is, unless if I'm wrong. I was wrong about uh, one room already that I had picked up power-ups in, so wouldn't surprise me. Okay, so now I'm going to walk all the way back to the ruined fountain to get through that whole area. So I will see you in that very room shortly. All right, here we go. I need to check to see. Okay, I did grab that item. That's excellent news. But we're gonna go this way, because we've never been this way. New roads ahead of us. Bada bing, bada boo. Ba All right. So you need the, you need a heat suit, obviously, to be in this section, because lava, lava. But you also need power bombs to get through this wall. It's one of the reasons why we take care of this later. But we're rewarded with a power bomb expansion, so I don't mind using that. Not to mention, if you're looking for scans, there's some lore. Excellent work. Also, we're gonna need plasma beam. Which, to be fair, if you have the grapple beam, you're gonna have this. Now, this is very easy to miss. There's a hidden room right here. And that's, that's a room you can easily miss and forget. Luckily, playing with the randomizer, it's not... Like, you learn to remember that room pretty easily. Alright, well, I hope you like more ghosts, because we need to get rid of these guys. That's actually necessary. Okay, hang on. No. There you go. Missiles away. Alright, I got him. It's not too bad, actually. Just use a regular one, get him in position. He actually really cooperated very well. They can jump all the way to your to your side of the room, and that just makes things worse. That's not not what anyone wanted. Oh gosh, I think I want the other one too. I don't think I want this one. Well, we need we need that one, but it's not the one I'm trying to get first. <laughs> That's unusual as it is. But we want this one first, because there's an item in this room we need to get. But of course it's on a timer. It's not an incredibly difficult timer, honestly. I was so scared, I was like, ah, please, please latch on. Be my friend. Perfect. You can actually see this little uh, guy from inside, and you're like, oh, how do I get that? That's just how you do it. Just roll back out. And we go through here. There's a lot of a lot of these piston elevators. 
just they're not terribly difficult to work with, but you can get squashed a little, and it'll it'll hurt a little. But we play for oh, I don't know how I didn't get hurt, but apparently I'm okay. Usually I get hurt trying to boost my way through that. Just seems the lady luck was just on my side. Okay, now this this can go terribly wrong. So you have to get that grapple point. This is all for a missile, by the way, as you can see all the way over there. So you gotta jump up, grapple, then you can take your time and do a reswing if you want to, but you gotta gotta make sure you can get that. Okay, I'm gonna check. I think I got this one. Because there is an item. Yes, okay, we got it. So I'm gonna go through this section of tunnels to where... Well, I guess it really is just one tunnel, isn't it? But there's an item in here that we could use again. But because the name of the game is, well, we gotta spend more missiles, there's a ghosts in this room as well. However, you don't have to fight him to unlock the doors or anything like that. You can just go through. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. No! Okay. That's okay. That can happen. That's that's the only reason you'd want to fight him, is so that you just have a safer trip going through that. But if you're a little gambly gambly, you can just walk your way through that. Okay, so now this part. This part's fun. Let me tell you. So you gotta jump all the way on these platforms, right? Uh, there's these wooden blocks. Well, I guess they seem like wood. They're very strong wood. But it takes three missiles. You can use a super missile, but uh, super missiles cost five. And, you know, you only need to use three, so. But you gotta do this a lot. That is, you gotta do this a total of three times and get. Ah, yeah, these guys came back. Hello there. You gotta use 12 missiles three times, so, you know, it's like a billion missiles, or the equivalent of 36, whichever one seems to work. We're trying very hard not to hit those guys, because those guys won't die if we hit them with a missile, weirdly enough. Like I said, practically invincible. These guys I don't think we've scanned, but these are like metallic, uh, metallic puffers, yeah, they're reinforced. Still just as dangerous. Oh, as you see, I body checked that guy. And you can see that one blocked. Oh, blocked two of my missiles. You are so rude. So, yeah, you need at least 30 missiles to get through this. You're looking at, you know, 35 uh, as the standard. Luckily, by the time you get here, you should have a plenty amount of missiles. Uh, it's only as. It's only as, like, big of a concern if you're doing this in the randomizer and you can access this room you need to know that you need a bunch of, of missiles to get to the very top luckily because it plays that little cutscene in the randomizer too uh, you can uh, you can after 12 the first 12 missiles you spend you can see what the item is at the top and then decide if you want to commit fully to it or not but we're not done yet no 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 because there's this little water area which also has a door here, and this leads us to our artifact. What? Are we just the coolest or what? Alright. And if memory serves correctly, we should have all the items in this section. As you can see, we're at actually at 94% items. We are just, just the coolest of beans here. I am going to check... There is an item, well, it's, it shows that the, that, uh, there's a room on the lower floor, right? So that's the bomb one. I'm gonna check, double check to make sure that the room is on the right, that we got that, but I believe we have all the items here. And it shows our ruins, just going through the map, running through my checklist, but I think we do. Up next is we just do Talon Overworlds. Huzzah, huzzah. It's gonna be a good day. How are we doing? We're actually doing really well on time. This, at, at this point, we've actually taken less than 25 minutes at the moment. And I was highly impressed. Thought it would take a little bit longer. 
Especially since I've like just have been trying to go, go off, off of this of memory. Luckily, this check's not terrible either. We don't have to, again, face the ghosts. We don't need to. No need to try to be friends with them. We just roll up here. Okay, good. I'm glad we checked. Glad we checked. Because I would have easily run out. That's why it's a very double important to check. I will be highly mad if we reach... Uh, if we don't get 100% as we finish up Talon Overworld, because that means I've lost an item somewhere. Would be highly unfortunate. We are going to need a save room. I'm actually going to go save back at the ship. I think that's the closest reasonable place, we could, reasonable place we could save. Plus, I can use that to check through the map and make sure, like, I know where we're going to go and all that. That's going to be a sweet time. But... That is going to be it for today. We're nearing the end of this 100% run of Metroid Prime Run. You can get hold on to your socks cuz it'll get it'll be a bumpy ride. But until then, I hope you guys are enjoying your day and I will see you next time. Take care everyone.